Google ads are a great way to get your business out there in front of people searching for your services or products. And they don't require all the work of display or video ads. Which is especially great if you, like me, have not a single creative bone in your body. Which is why I have lovely people like Reese. Who can make my video ads amazing as well as making pretty good videos too. But if you don't have a Reese, then you're going to have to focus on how to make the most of your ad text in your Google search ads. So, in today's video, I'm going to help you create ad text that really helps sell your products or services. With 10 quick and easy steps. Number one, focus on your user's end goal. Google ads are massive, which means no matter your niche, you will undoubtedly have competition. So when you are creating your ad, it's a great idea to check out that competition and see what they're putting in their ad text. It could be that they're all saying relatively the same kind of thing, which means that your ad could be easily lost in the mix unless it has something unique. It can be easy to lose sight of what your customers are truly looking for and spend too much time focusing on keywords. So understanding what your customer's end goal really is can help your ad stand out in the results. For instance, let's say you sell hair dye products and your visitors search for how to cover grey hair. You will need to write an ad that is compelling to that search term. So a headline along the lines of need to cover grey hair is a waste, as you already know that they are looking to cover grey hair. Instead, appeal to their end goal with a headline like covers grey hair in just 30 minutes. This headline appeals to your user's end goal, letting them know that your dye covers the grey hair, all while letting them know how easy it is too. This goes for descriptions too. Focus on your user's wants and add in some extra features for that extra selling point. After all, you only have 30 characters for each headline. So don't waste precious headline space stating something that you and your customer already know. Number two, utilize all the space you're given. Have you ever noticed an ad at the top of search that seems to take up twice the amount of space of any other? Making your ad take up as much space as possible is a great way to improve your clicks. These larger ads are undoubtedly using ad extensions, which do exactly what they say on the tin. They extend your ad. Be it site links, which give your customers additional pages to click on, or image extensions, which allow you to show an image beside your ad in mobile search. You can't control when your ad extensions are shown, but the opportunity should not be missed, so give Google as many options as possible. Another way to extend your ad is to use as much space as you are given. Each headline can be 30 characters long and 90 characters for a description. So try to get as close to those limits as possible. And remember that you have 15 headlines and four descriptions to use for each ad. Even though Google will only display up to two descriptions and three headlines at a time, you shouldn't waste that potential by giving away ad space. Utilize them all. Number three, use countdown timers. FOMO is a powerful tool that you can easily use. Even if you think you can resist, sometimes the fear of missing out is too much of an incentive than any other. Can you honestly say that you have never been tempted even a little bit by the words 50% sale ends today? This is called loss evasion and it can hugely boost your Google ad CTR and conversions. Injecting that incentive into your ad text is easy to do with a countdown timer. All you need to do is type in a curly bracket into either your headline or your description and a drop down will appear. From that drop down, you can choose countdown. Just set an end date and your ad will include a countdown in real time. Using a countdown along with ad text such as days until our sale ends can help motivate customers as well as give you that edge over your competition. Number four, don't be afraid to be specific. Numbers and stats are a great way to get information across to your potential customer in a quick and effective way. If you're a retail store, tell your customers just how many lines you stock or how many customer choices you have. Studies have shown that numbers such as 2045 have a much better performance than number stats like over 2000. The more specific your number, the more believable your ad will appear. So don't be shy when it comes to bragging about your figures. Number five, make it personal. It's all about you. What, me? No, not you. I mean you, the word. If you're using words like I, we, or us in your ad text, then you're not focusing on the customer, which ultimately can hurt your clicks. 
This goes for your landing page too. Keep the focus on your customer. Use headlines like start your free trial or dresses your love. Using statements like awarded best plumbing company in 2022 is great, but it doesn't really tell the customer what you can do for them. Find natural spaces within your ad text where you can shout about the benefits you can bring your customer. Number six, make it local. Even if you're a nationwide or even worldwide company and you advertise across multiple cities and countries, you're still gonna wanna make sure that your ads appeal to local customers. Show them that you are close by. Unless your company is 100% online, then create ads for each of your locations. This will allow you to be specific about location in your ad text. Tell them where you are based. You can even use a local ad extension to show them just how close you are. Also, if possible, use a local number in your call extensions. As it's been shown that most people are put off by an area code that they don't immediately recognize as close by. If you can't get that specific in your ad text, then you can use a dynamic location identifier. Like the countdown, you can create a local identifier within your ad text. This will dynamically pull your user's location into your ad text. Be careful using these though, as if you don't have a location in their exact area, then your ad can come across as disingenuous. I previously made a video about local SEO, so if you'd like to know more about how to get your business out there to local search, then click the link above. Number seven, highlight what makes you unique. Every company has something that makes them different than any other. Your USP is something that you need to make clear as soon as someone sees your ad. Using a combination of unique identifiers as well as that personal language we spoke about before can really make your ad more enticing. This can be anything from free shipping to your dazzling customer service record. Showcase the products or services that make you competitive. And make sure to do your research. See how you differ from competition and highlight that. Number eight, keywords. So I know I've spoken about keywords in every video I've ever made and we've plastered it all over the channel. Your keywords. Just put a keyword. Keywords are bid on keywords. So you'll need to do some keyword research. To of that keyword. But unfortunately, this video is no different. Your keywords are absolutely fundamental to every search campaign you make. So you need to get properly acquainted with them. Adding keywords to your ad text can help customers identify your ad as something that they are looking for. And you don't have to put the exact keyword in either. For instance, if you're selling a language course, you don't have to put the exact words language course into your ad text. Google is intelligent enough to check for words such as lesson or classes to determine if the ad is relevant. Not only will it help your ad appeal more to your customers, but it also make it more relevant to your ad search, which ultimately can help your quality score. If you want to learn more about quality score, then check out my video that I made previously in the link above. Number nine, test, test and keep testing. With all of the tips that I've spoken about today, it's something that you're going to have to keep testing. A, B, testing is when you run two ads at the same time with an ever so slight difference so that you can pit them against each other. So make sure that if you use any of the tips that I've given you today, you don't just delete your current ad. Create a new ad and see which ad gets you the most clicks and performs better. Unfortunately, there's not a one size fits all solution for this. So make sure you test out your options to see which one fits your needs. Number 10, always include a CTA. This might seem really obvious, but you'd be surprised how many ads are out there that don't include a call to action in their text. You need to make sure that your potential customer is aware of what the next steps will be once they click on your ad. Be it sign up now, get a free quote, or even a simple buy now. CTAs alone are great, but when you pair them up with an ease of use statement, they can really help performance. Phrases like sign up in just three minutes or no credit card required can help your CTR. And don't forget to use that personal language in your CTA. It's been proven that phrases such as start your free trial perform much better than phrases such as start a free trial. And that's it. If you want to learn more about Google ads or marketing in general, then don't forget to check out our previous videos. All of the links will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below what you would like to see next. Until next time, bye.